Hello, my name is Johnny Knoxville. My name is Manny Puig. My name is Jeff Tremaine. And you're watching The Slate. Welcome back to The Slate. I'm Ashley Minnelli. And I'm Danny Parra. This week on The Slate, we have an exclusive interview with the stars and director of Jackass 3D. Two veteran critics return to review the first Oscar contender of the year in the social network. And stay tuned until the very end of the show for a special stunt-filled surprise for all you Jackass fans. We opened the show this week with our dame on the street, Brooke Bergstaller. Brooke was able to catch some of the new antics in the latest Jackass movies. Now, no doubt there were some injured balls during the making of this film. Oh, absolutely, Danny. Now, let's send it over to Brooke with Jackass 3D director Jeff Tremaine, the shark man, Manny Poog, and, of course, the smoking hot Johnny Knoxville. Hey guys, this is Brooke Bergstaller. We're here at the Paragon Theater on the hunt for Johnny Knoxville. And we're gonna ask people about all the stupid things that they've done in their lives. What is the dumbest thing that you've ever done in your life? Oh my God. Uh... <laughs> you do some crazy stuff, I know you do. No. You get down, don't you? That guy, he gets down, I'm gonna tell you that much. <laughs> were you on shrooms? No. Nah. So you were sober? I was totally sober. Yes. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. Okay. Yeah. I lit a four-lane highway on fire just to see what people that were driving by thought. Lugo. <laughs> Is am I saying that right, Lugo? I like the way you look. So I have a question. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done on the job? You shot anyone? Tased someone? So you didn't get in any trouble? Nope. Well, then I encourage you to do more dumb things. Good yeah. job. <laughs> Thank Here's you. to you. We were really inspired by Jackass when I was a teenager. I actually drank my own urine twice. Yeah. That's awesome. That's really <laughs> disgusting. You guys look rebellious. Do you mind if I touch you? Hey. Okay. I actually have documentation of I want Johnny, Knox Johnny Knoxville to kick me in the balls. I wish you the best of luck. I really hope he kicks you in the balls. Oh, hi. Hi, hi I'm Brooke. You? Johnny. Nice to meet you. You kick back that brew. Okay. The drunker you get, the more honest you are, right? I'm, I, I'm pretty honest. Yeah? But I'm usually pretty oh. drunk. <laughs> okay, this is a nice cup. I haven't seen these. I haven't either. These new things. Ah, uh, Coconut Grove. So, hey. What's life like for you right now? Uh, well, uh, Jeff and I, and Manny, are just beginning our uh, promotional tour for Jackass 3D, so it's pretty good. We're in Coconut Grove drinking beers, so. It's, this is what college is all about yes. right here. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet microphone you have there, too. Oh, thank you, it's real classy. We, yeah. got, we got a big budget here on the slate. Yeah. That's right, we've got all the equipment that we need. So in terms of the movie, you know, I'd like to break it down for you a little bit. Where do you get all the ideas for the stunts that you do? You guys, too, chime in. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Uh, well, <laughs> Jeff uh, uh, directed the movie, and, and uh, we created it together with our friend Spike Jones. and. Man, he's been in uh, every movie. I'm just like a friend, part of the family. You know, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, come along. He's so, you, so you're the freeloader? No, 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 no. He's much more than a freeloader. He's <laughs> like, he's the casting crew. Manny is the casting crew hero. Like, all the Jackass guys look up to Manny for being the, the gnarliest uh, guy. And so, he makes the guys feel safe. Yeah. <laughs> it's not necessarily true, but at least they feel safe. Yeah, what's insurance like? Like, do you guys... Well, well, I think we got insurance. They dropped us at the end of the TV show. But uh, for the movies, oh, cool. they just saw a cash cow. Yeah. They're like, we, we're going to, uh, we'll insure them, but it's going to cost some money. Yeah. So what's the what's the best stunt that you've personally done? I want, like, from the show, from the movie, whatever. Uh, when Ryan Dunn got the toy car shoved up his bottom in number one. <laughs> The, uh, in number two, we're proud of the terror taxi. And in number three, I think, uh, the, you know, the, we're pretty proud of Steve-O doing the porta potty bungee. Wait, that was one of my favorite ones was when, who was it that went in the porta potty and then it turned upside down and just got covered with Oh, that, that was me 10 years ago. How did that feel? What was that uh, moment like for you? Take me back. Yeah. Recreate that moment for me, would you? Well, I, if, if I could do it again, I, I probably would have uh, had a little Bunsen burner, like warming up the poo and pee, because it was super cold. I would not. Not only was it disgusting, but I hate the cold. Oh, well, I'm sorry that you had to go through that, but yes. that's how you make your money, right? Yep. <laughs> and also, I heard you got married yep. a few days ago. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you. What a lucky lad. How's that going for you? What's sex life after marriage? <laughs> 
I, I guess pretty good. Manny gave me the thumbs up, so. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's so you know what sex with his wife has been like? Yeah, that that's what, why he gave me the thumbs up. He's, he's getting that there? Mm-hmm. And, okay, another question. What's the most pain that your genitalia have ever been in? Probably when I broke my penis trying to backflip a motorcycle. You can do that? You can break your penis? Nope. Oh, you can't break your penis. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Bla- I can't that? personally back. Well, sometimes. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I tried to do a once too. Did you know that? Did you break your too? You did. It's the movie news with Donnie Farra. Lots of things going down in Hollywood this week. Let's start with big news from Gotham. The Dark Knight sequel may be the worst kept secret since AIDS. But director Christopher Nolan finally confirmed that he will be directing his third Batman movie. Nolan also admitted that his brother Jonathan has already begun writing the screenplay. Insiders speculate the film should be ready for a summer 2012 release. Now the only thing to figure out is who will be the villain and most importantly, who's going to play him? With Heath Ledger temporarily out of commission, we've heard Joseph Gordon-Levitt's name in connection with the Riddler. Johnny Depp might be up for that role as well. But nobody makes my heart jump more than Kenan Thompson as Catwoman. Alien Invasion movies are back in vogue, and Sam Raimi wants in. The Spider-Man director announced he will produce Earth Defense Force, which is exactly what it sounds like. The basic premise is that the warring superpowers of the world decide to band together and fight a legion of aliens that have invaded Earth, which would have been a really cool idea in 1995. Now, allow me to remind you that Independence Day, recognized by the United Nations as the greatest movie ever made, already tackled that hard-hitting subject matter. Luckily, several ID4 stars have already spoken out. Director Roland Emmerich seemed very angry as a gigantic German fart emerged from his mouth. Bill Pullman responded by eating his VHS copy of Spider-Man 2. But nobody reacted more irrationally than Randy Quaid, who stole a crop duster and dumped Pepto-Bismol all over Raimi's kumquats. Everybody remembers the last time, the first time they watched Star Wars. For me, it was the time I stayed at home for a week pretending to have mono to convince my friends that I'd actually touched a girl. Well, it looks like a new generation of Star Wars junkies will soon get that chance in 3D. Lucasfilm announced that the movies will be released in theaters beginning in 2012 and in the chronological order of the storyline. This means that the first movie to hit theaters will be The Phantom Menace, which, oddly enough, is the same reason OxyContin was invented. We at the Slate hope that 3D release will answer some pressing questions, such as whether Lando really was the only black guy in the universe, if Leia and Han ever got to, you know, Make the sex. Or which of George Lucas's chins holds the mummified remains of Jar Jar Binks? Just like you, I was one of those guys who thought Easy A was just a working title for the Ashley Minnelli story. Regardless, it looks like Emma Stone is poised for a big time role real soon. By all accounts, she'll be playing Mary Jane Watson in the upcoming Spider Man reboot. The Easy A star will join a hot young cast that includes Andrew Garfield and the prehistoric animal hibernating on his head as Spider Man. Now, I'll be honest, Stone has never really gotten my spidey senses tingling, but it could have been worse because the decision came down to Stone and the origin of the bubonic plague herself, Zoe Deschanel. Now, let's toss it over to the only person in the world with fewer Facebook friends than me, Ashley, in the Critics' Corner. It's the Critics' Corner. Thanks, my little hamburger patty. We all know I have way more Facebook friends than you. Anyway, we're, we are now here in our Critics Corner, and we have returning critics, Dennis the Hoffman, and Ingrid Meta, who I've never spoken with, but she's here today. <laughs> um, okay, so guys, today we've got a really great movie to talk about, which is kind of surprising for us. The Social Network, been getting a lot of buzz. What do you guys think? Best movie of the year? Give me some details. It was definitely great. Yeah? Um, just seeing something that we use every day and how it started, and seeing Brenda's song just completely wig out was my favorite. <laughs> Who's Brenda's song? She was the That's the London, Tipton. London Tipton. London Tipton. London oh, Tipton. Come on, Sweet Little Zach and Cody. You never watched that show? No, we all know no, Dennis no. watches it on he the DL. Does. He's the DL. Yeah, maybe, come on. Maybe, it's on his TV. Wizards of Waverly Place. Wizards of Waverly It's a good one. I like that one. It is good. All right, guys. So you guys both agree that you liked it. Which performance was the best? Do we like JT's performance, Andrew Garfield, the new Spider-Man, which is really cool, or that nerd who's always confused with Michael Sarah? I don't even know his name. Jesse Eisenberg? Yeah, that kid. That what do, what do you guys think? JT, definitely. He was the hottest douchebag I've ever seen he in my life. Hot douche, he, he is a he, hot douchebag. He is a hot he douchebag. Douche yes. He is a douchebag. I like <laughs> Andrew like Garfield. Kind of like yourself, right? Well, not so much. I'm more like Andrew Garfield. Oh. Who played Edward oh. Edward oh. Right, right. Sorry. The new Spider-Man. Spider-Man, right. Because he is fantastic. Let's see your Spidey reflexes. 
What do you want me like <laughs> like that? Yeah, yeah, that's that right okay, 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 that's great. Okay, so why Andrew Garfield? What, what do you think made him stand out? He just played out? it so beautifully. He was so naive and gullible. He just ah, uh, he, he played it beautifully, really. Yeah, oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful. He's, oh, he's that a handsome man. Yeah. Really oh, weird about crush. that. Tell us how you really feel, Dennis. <laughs> I mean, oh. he's the next Spider-Man. What are you gonna do? He seems like he's got a little crush. All right, guys. Well, I'm sorry, but that's all the time we have left for today. Now we're gonna kick it off to our maestro with another mind-boggling rant. Take it away, Rick. The Gospel According to Rick. All right, first, let me start off by saying that I love Jackass. Seriously, it's a movie that doesn't sell itself as something it's not. You know exactly what you're going to get into when you see this movie. Ridiculous stunts, disgusting feats of human indigestion, and lots and lots of penis. These little rascals of masochism are led by the great Johnny Knoxville, whom I tend to love watching anytime he's not actually acting. His right-hand man, Bam Margera, features his own unique stunts, which generally involve abusing his parents. It must be easy to take a rough pounding when you know it comes with a million dollar paycheck. Next, we have the freak of nature, Steve-O. Now, this failed abortion of a man deals in the painfully disgusting stunts, things no other human would do, like vomiting over themselves in a porta potty and chugging beer with their anus. Although it's very entertaining, it takes a sick individual to stomach something as vile as drinking horse semen. The only downside in this franchise is that sometimes their stunts tend to miss the mark, and you're left with an awkward feeling where, you know, you should be laughing, but you really aren't. At its core, Jackass is a movie that just really doesn't care. <sighs> this is who they are, this is what they do, enjoy. Unlike many other Hollywood movies, this movie doesn't glamour itself up with special effects, or offer a thrilling plot only to bitterly disappoint you in the end. At its core, this movie does what movies are supposed to do and that's entertain us. So go watch Jackass 3D with a group of friends and scream in awe at the inhumane stunts they perform and just have a good time. I'm Rick Prieto and you've been enlightened. Now it's time for the moment you Slate fans have all been waiting for. Cancellation. No, what, Danny, no, come on, Danny. Oh yeah, I'm Danny Barra. And I'm Ashley Minnelli. And, and this, this is, is the Slate, Slate Jackass, Jackass style. style.